but from there you will seek the Lord with all your God with all you are uh, with all your mind and with all your soul and you'll find him lakini kutoka pale utamtafuta Mungu kwa roho yako yote na moyo wako wote na utampata i read it again so tena but from there you will seek the Lord your God and you will find him if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul so we have to get it both hivyo lazima tuhusike the whole being wewe ukiwa wote the whole heart roho yako yote the whole of your soul moyo wako wote we have to spend time in prayer lazima tutumie wakati katika maombi we have to spend time and energy in prayer nguvu na bidii katika maombi it is worth it if we have to be fired up again inastahili kama utaweza kuoshwa tena Lakini kama naondoa nguvu za mapepo 
mchanga humility and obedience of a little child unyenyekevu na utiifu wa mtoto mchanga kingdom of god kuingia ufalme wa mungu you must receive it as a child unahitaji kuupokea kama mtoto mchanga it was for genuine humility you need that in our in our kisha kuwa na unyenyekevu i think the obedience and humility of a little child and you say unyenyekea na unyenyekevu kama wa mtoto mchanga the kingdom call for mtoto humility ufalme wa mungu unyenyekevu kama kamilifu this will help you as an individual ito kusaidia wewe kama mtu binafsi follow the instructions that are given to you kufuata maagizo yaliyotolewa kwa wewe but if you approach god like you know things kama lakini ukimwelekea mungu kama wajua mambo like you already know it lakini kama unaenda you will not enter that kingdom hautaweza kuingia ule ufalme you get me unanielewa for you to be revived ili uweze kupata ufufu for you to receive the holy spirit ili uweze kupokea roho mtakatifu you need to receive the kingdom as a child unahitaji kupokea huu ufalme kama mtoto mchanga when we say up for the holy spirit tunaposema omba roho mtakatifu be like a little child uwe kama mtoto mchanga the way they come with their container for uji jinsi wanavyokuja na kila mtu anataka kupewa everyone want to be given na by the way ni kumwangania and they struggle for it we love Unajifunza mambo haya kutoka kwa watu wa Kenya. Don't care what you talk about them. Hawajali utakapoyanena juu yake. They are all asking for it. Lakini wote wanaitisha. And as a human being you wonder how to deal with them. Na kama mtu haya kama mwanadamu God wants us to behave the same way. Mungu anataka tupe nasi tu. There is a clamor of more the kingdom of God. Kuna kuna nania ufalme wa Mungu. We must press to enter it. Lazima tupambane ili tuingie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. za kuingia katika ufufuo haleluya haleluya when people have come so down wakati watu wamekuwa chini sana then it is time for the bible basi ndio wakati wa ufufuo in the name of jesus 
katika jina la Yesu. I'm telling you my friends, ningependa kuambia rafiki zangu. The Holy Spirit, Roho Mtakatifu himself, yeye mwenyewe is the superintendent of revival. Yeye ndiye huwa anaangalia na kuendeza ufufuo. There can never be revival. Hapawezi kuwa na ufufuo without him. Bila yeye, there can never be revival. Hapawezi kuwa na ufufuo kama. It is by him that we are revived. Ni kupitia yeye tunapata ufufuo. And it is by him that revival is triggered. Na ni kupitia kwake ufufuo na And it is by him that revival is driven. Na ni kupitia yeye ufufuo unaenea. And it is by him that revival is sustained. Na ni kupitia yeye ambapo ufufuo unadumishwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The revival that happened in Topeka city. Ufufuo uliofanyika Topeka mji wa Topeka. After a little girl Agnes Osman was baptized with the Holy Spirit. Baada ya msichana mchanga Agnes Osman kubatizwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Iliweza kudumu karibu miaka 100 because it is the one that born born that that born the revival in Azusa street kwa maana huo ndio uliweza kuzaa ufufuo wa Azusa barabara ya Azusa and later on na baadaye the revival in East Africa ufufuo katika Afrika ya Mashariki is said to have survived that more than uh, more than any other revival unaesemekana kwamba umeweza kudumu zaidi ya ufufuo mwingine wote why why was it so kwa nini ilikuwa hivi because people continued seeking the and the feeling and the feeling of the holy spirit kwa maana watu walizidi kutafuta na kuomba kujazwa na kujazwa tena na tena if you get the full feeling of the holy spirit and you don't seek more and more of god ukipata kujazwa mara ya kwanza na ukose kumtafuta tena na tena mungu the bible will not be sustained ufufuo hautadumishwa the bible is sustained by the holy spirit ufufuo hudumishwa naye the bible is triggered by the holy spirit ufufuo huanzilishwa the bible is driven by the holy spirit ufufuo huenezwa na roho mtakatifu position yourself Jiweke mahali basi. Apply three before God. Ukisimama wima mbele za Mungu. And not uh, upside down. Na sio juu chini. So that you can correct. Ili uweze kujiunganisha. The rain of revival. Ili uweze kupata. You can have the rain of revival. Unaweza kuvuna mvua. You can have the spiritual blessing. Unaweza kuvuna baraka za kiroho. That God is releasing to, to you today. Ambao Mungu anakuachilia kwako siku hii. I am talking of the baptism of the Holy Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even those who are baptized before. Hata wale waliobatizwa hapo awali. It is time to be. Ni wakati wa kujazwa tena. It is time to be the end of the age. Ni wakati wa kufikiwa hapa hizo dini zinataka that you get there. Even those uh, tongues should be more in kuneno kunene mambo makuu. So that you can speak great ya kumbukuza Bwana na kutabiri. This to prophesy and Hakuna mtoto anazaliwa anaendea kusema mama ta ta anaishi hapo. Huyo mtoto atapelekwa hospitali ama perekwe kwa psychologist aangaliwe ni shida gani That child will be taken to a hospital Kama umeanza kunena kwa lugha if you started speaking you need to grow in speaking in tongues Unahitaji kukua katika kunena kwa lugha You need to grow in your working and your ministry Unahitaji kukua under the anointing of the Holy Spirit Chini ya kutoa wa roho Kwa hivyo hata jiji mlio jazwa kitabu even those of you who are filled with Don't be satisfied with the love. It is time to be replenished in Jesus name. Ni wakati wa kufanya upya katika jina la Yesu. And now we want to move on. Na sasa tungependa kuendelea. With the first step. Kwa hatua ya kwanza. Did you be ready? We are moving on to the first step. Tunaenda kwa hatua ya kwanza. The first step. Sasa hatua ya kwanza. For receiving the Holy Spirit. Ya kumpokea Roho Mtakatifu. Second Corinthians chapter 7 verse 13 to 15. If I close the sky so that there is no rain basi kama nitafunga mabingu kusiwe na mvua or if I command the rockers to divide the land ama basi niamuru nzige wale shamba zote or if I send a plague among my people ama nitume tauni kwa watu wangu and if my people na basi kama watu wangu who are called by my name wanaoitwa kwa jina langu humble themselves and pray watajinyenyekeza na waombe mahali hapa 
ni ubatizo wa roho mtakatifu and for the lord to hear that prayer that we are offering in this place na ili mungu aweze kusikia maombi tunayofanya hapa because this word was written kwa maana haya maneno yaliandikwa when the temple was being dedicated by king solomon wakati hekalu lilikuwa likiundwa kwa wakfu kwa ajili ya and this was the word of god himself answering na haya ni maneno ya mungu mwenyewe akiji the prayer made by king solomon Yeah. 